Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Sea Hag's Curse or our Dark Ride Park. Um, sorry for lack of uploads, it just I've been busy with school and I haven't been feeling doing this voiceover, so uh, sorry about that. Uploads should come back at least for a little bit before I head out for summer vacation, which I am going on a big trip uh, to Finland, hopefully. So I, if you're in the Discord, I'll be sending some pictures of that and such like that. But, uh, I, for this build, I got super inspired by watching Yura like normal, or, and I went to my local couple bakeries and got some inspiration from there. Um, I was having a lot of fun, but it, it's a pretty small build. It's, it's, uh, it's a good build, though. I'm quite happy with how it turned out in the end, even though it, I did build it, like, probably three, four months ago. It's been a really long time. Uh, I've been procrastinating a lot to edit videos and doing stuff like that, and now I'm up in a contest, so it'll probably be maybe one or two more of these before I head out on vacation where I'll be on hiatus for a little while and I won't be streaming or posting anything. I might have one cinematic video or something lined up to post halfway through the summer, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, but it's been going pretty good. Uh, I recently hit 100 followers on Twitch, so if you're not already following me there, you should come check me out. I stream a couple times a week normally, when I have time, and I'll fit in some extra ones. Uh, but it's just been, come on, have fun, chill with us, it's a good time. Uh, I can give tips, there's lots of really good builders who are way better than I am in there too. Like, uh, Pills and Demona, they're both amazing builders, and. I cannot build as well as them, um, but yeah, also watch out for some new, I have one coaster finished that I need to film cinematics for, and I'm about halfway done making an RMC, so that'll be pretty cool when I can get that out, and also just let me know if you have any other coasters you'd want to see in the comments below or anything like that, or if you want me to check out one of your coasters or something like that, I'm happy to do that on stream or anything like that as well. But. Really, I'm just kind of looking for stuff to do um, when I'm not busy. I've also been doing a lot of drawing and stuff like that recently, so... When I have time to edit these videos, I will. But don't expect... Uh, I'm gonna try get maybe a video out every other week, maybe, if I can, but still not sure about that entirely. But on to what I'm building, I'm coming down a little bakery. I believe in the end I called it Bondolo's Bakery, which will be some... I'm gonna have every different building in here have a name and its own patron and I might end up writing like a little bit of lore about them or stuff like that to make it feel more immersive. But he's probably like some old man who makes bread in his spare time and sells it here and just uh, hires all the younger people here into this shop and all that. But in the lore of this kind of world, I guess is what I'm gonna call it, It's this town is kind of on the lower end, it's a little... It's not poor, but it's not rich. It's like, it's a fishing town, but they've been in like bad times lately, so they are a little bit lower, and they're not having the greatest time they've been struggling, so I'm gonna, I don't wanna spoil the dark ride, so I'm not gonna say anymore, but just know it is pretty cool with what I have so far, and I'm excited for it. It's already going pretty well. But along with this bakery in this, I build a coffee shop, which is very nice. It's quite small. I like this interior more, but the exterior for the other building is very good, and it's probably... It's not my favorite, I don't think, but it's up there for this build. It just fits in so nicely next to the lighthouse. Um, but yeah, so just ask questions if you want any. I'm just having fun. There's not really a method to my madness. I'm just kind of going through talking to people, um, and just having fun putting stuff down and cluttering up with plants right now, which I always use. Uh, you can see I've put in some chairs and I'm doing lighting now, and really, the way I learned to do my interiors is from Poetry Slam. I can't quite remember what the numbers are after, but she's an amazing builder. Super fun to watch, super fun to be with and talk to. She's awesome, I catch her streams when I can, but I did a tutorial thing with her, like, probably a year and a half ago, 
if you ever go back and watch Timber Falls, it was going in that park before I stopped it. Uh, but it was like a little western shop, and I learned how to do my interiors there, and they really just expanded from there. But now you can see we're on to the coffee shop, um, which I believe in the end I called Claudia's Coffee. And it's very small and just super fun. Uh, I quite like the yellow I came up with for it, and how it like just kind of ties in super nicely with the lighthouse beside. It's just super small and fun. Um, and it just fits in perfectly beside the bakery, which is more red. It's, it's kind of McDonald's colors, but they just go so well together I could not really. Um, but you can see that I'm starting to work on the coffee shop now, and I'm adding like a little jet out kind of thing here, which is probably what, why I like this build so much. It kind of, it looks a little bit like an old theater, even though it's not, so I could work into the lore that maybe used to be like a small little theater, and it was popping when the town was like in bigger and better kind of form than it is now, and maybe it's like just kind of gone downhill and some owner bought it now, and this is kind of like one of the more hip and trendy places in town. But I'm not sure, because I want this to take place, I believe, in the 1920s to 30s, so like a little after World War One, but before World War Two. So it's like post-war, kind of depression kind of era. Kind of is what I'm thinking. But let me know on that, I'm always up to, like, if you have any other inspiration picks or anything like that, I'm always looking for more, and, or names for something like that. But also let me know if you'd like to see a coaster in this park for when I'm done the main street in the dark ride. If it's not too many pieces and I can still run it on my computer, I will probably add a coaster of some kind. And there's already a flat ride place in the park, it's the little balloon one. I, if you look over to the left, I think it's over there, if I remember. I can't look, I don't know why I said that, but it's over there, it's gonna be themed to probably a dockyard or something like that, and it, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think it can turn out really well. But yeah, you can also see how I build really well. Like, you can see it's lots of stuff you'll see and then won't see after. And you can see me turning on and off reshade to see if I like how it looks with reshade on, because that's how I film my cinematics. And you can see me naming it now. Changing colors, I'm constantly flipping through stuff, constantly asking my Twitch chat if, like, what do you guys think? Could, do you have any ideas of what I could do? Like, I'm always trying to take people's like ideas into consideration it's my favorite thing to do and I just enjoy it a lot doing stuff like that and always learning new pieces I'm slowly now I've gotten a little away from using as much team TK as I do in this park like for exteriors and stuff I've gotten a lot better with the in-game pieces and building stuff that I want so I'm getting a lot better at building uh, and yeah, but coaster wise, if I do add one, it'll probably be some sort of family launch coaster, maybe mock or intimate straddle coaster. Something like that is my idea. You also see me trying to add a chimney. I don't remember if this stays or not. I'm constantly changing ideas with this. It's, you may see something one episode and it might be gone the next. Like, there's not really a method. Like, I try stuff, and sometimes it looks good, and I keep it, and sometimes it looks really bad, and I keep it for a while, but then go back, and I get rid of it, so... Not entirely sure, but now you can see me working on the interior. So, I was looking at, like, older coffee shops. I found a picture of a coffee shop in New England, which is where I'm taking a lot of this inspiration from. Uh, I looked at some of the coffee shops in my small town, and small towns around my area, and stuff like that, and I just kind of had a fun time. There wasn't really anything I was going for with this, just to make it feel small and old, really. And this is where you'll see me use probably my favorite blueprint. I can't remember who made it right now, but I'll probably link it in the description of the video. It is amazing. It's this little coffee stand right here. It's a little coffee machine, and it's just so perfect. It fits in. It's a little too modern, but I have still a modern theme park, just based in the past, so it still fits. I'm super happy with it. Uh, I'll get who made it and I'll put it in the description, but it is amazing if you ever download Expedition Espresso, which is my last coffee shop I made, for, it's like a jungle expedition kind of theme, it's super cool, and I also have toilets in that same theme, it, I used them in there as well, and they're just perfect, but now I, can, I built some cabinets, and I, I make a little door handle with the screw 
green mount. And they work pretty well for what I need, but also, since then, someone uh, has made a door handle set with Team TK, and they're pretty, they're super nice, and I use those all the time with custom doors and stuff like that, which you'll see more and more getting into the later builds, because I have improved a lot as a builder even since this build. Um, but now I'm going to start cluttering. I have these little cups, they're Team TK, they're mugs, spraying them around, and my biggest thing I learned with interiors is I always have an odd number of stuff placed next to each other. So if it'll be three cups, it'll be um, not two cups, it'll be three or one or five. Or it'll be like one coffee machine and two things on it so it's three total. It's just nicer to look at in my opinion. And again, you'll see me flipping on and off reshade to make sure I like how it looks. Um, I tried to add some dirt to make it look a little like dirtier, but when I turned off the flashlight, it looks super bad. So I did end up getting rid of it, which I am sad about because I did really like how it looked, but sometimes just the LODs just don't like me. Um, and like, it's just Team TK, so there's nothing you can do really. One thing I wish though is I wish there was like one meter by one meter Team TKs or stuff like dirt decals or something like that to make like more kind of intricate designs with them. I feel like that could be really fun, but my knowledge of how to make Blender stuff is so limited that I don't think I could, even if I tried. But I hope maybe someone will make that someday. I feel like it would be super useful for realism and just detailing in general. And as this is a realism focused park, um, everything I try to keep realistic, I will be sadly probably doing an entire custom. Uh, basin, I guess, is what I would call it for the water ride, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just kind of chugging along, seeing how it goes, uh, but yeah, we're nearing the end now, uh, so I believe I'm just kind of going to add some cladding here, and then I want to say it's almost done. I believe I just kind of add some final stuff here, and yeah, but Thanks for just coming in, and sorry for the lack of uploads recently, I'm just kind of haven't been in the mood, I'm going to try to get back into the mood now, and this one's a bit longer, but this is about how long I want the videos to be around that 14 to 15 minute mark. The last one was a little bit short, so I was a little, I wasn't sure about the length of that one, but I think it's fine, it's only, a, I think it's 6 minutes shorter, something like that, but... I hope you've enjoyed this video, it's a little long, as I said, but I hope you all just have a good time, and I'll hopefully see you next video, which should either be the RMC or a different coaster. Expect another one of these coming up relatively shortly, I'll be building, I believe it's a bait shop and a, I want to say some other kind of shop, I think it's something like that, but that's all that I got, so have a good day, and I'll see you next time, goodbye!